Hello, I'm MC Toon. There's a lot of talk about perspective. The term's often used to conveniently explain away random observations. However, perspective has a clear meaning and shouldn't be used inappropriately to explain whatever you cannot otherwise explain. It's actually quite simple. As an object gets farther away, it appears smaller. When things are farther away, you can see more things in that same field of view, so more stuff has to get crammed into that field of view. It's very important to understand that perspective causes an object to appear to shrink as it gets farther away. This always happens uniformly. The vertical size shrinks at the same rate as the horizontal size. There are other phenomena that cause, cause other visual effects, but perspective always acts in a completely predictable and uniform manner. This causes things below true level to rise up to the line of true level as they recede. Also, things above true level will lower down to the line of true level as they recede. It's critical to remember that things below true level will never appear above true level, and things above true level will never appear below true level. The good news is this effect is completely consistent and predictable. If we know an object's elevation and distance, we can use basic triangulation to accurately predict the angular elevation above or below true level where an object will appear. We can extend this triangulation to derive a formula to accurately predict an object's angular size if we know its actual size and the distance away from the observer. I will be deriving this formula in this video. We'll start with Batman as he surveys Gotham City from the top of a tall building. Several blocks away is the bat signal on top of the police headquarters. We know the diameter of the bat signal and how far away it is from Batman. Now we want to calculate the expected angular size. We start by defining a right triangle with one point at Batman's eyes, another point at the center of the bat signal, and the third point on the edge of the bat signal. We will be considering the angle near Batman and call it theta. The sides of a right triangle have specific names. The longest side is called the hypotenuse. The side near theta is called adjacent, and the side opposite theta is conveniently called opposite. The ratios between the lengths of the sides are trigonometric functions. These are actually just the ratios of the different sides of a right triangle. Sine is the length of the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent divided by the hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite divided by adjacent. We know the diameter of the bat signal. Let's call it g. If we divide it in half, this is the length of the opposite side of the triangle. This is just g over 2. We also know the distance from Batman to the bat signal, which is the length of the adjacent side of the triangle. Let's call that r. When we divide the length of the opposite side by the length of the adjacent side, we get one of these special ratios called tangent. Since we're interested in the value of theta, we need to do some basic algebra to get theta all alone on one side of the equation. To do this, we use the opposite of tangent, which is called arctangent. This gives us theta equals arctangent of g over 2 all over r. Since theta represents half of the angular size of the bat signal, we need to double the result to get the full angular size of the bat signal. Now we have the full formula to calculate the perspective angular size of an object. a equals 2 arctangent of g over 2 all over r, where g is the actual size of the object, r is the distance to the object, and a is the angular size of the object. So when someone attributes an observation to perspective, you can ask how they use the formula of angular perspective to confirm the observation and predict similar observations. If they cannot use this formula, or it doesn't seem to apply to their claims, they're probably just trying to use the word perspective to explain away an inconvenient observation. I plan to do a follow-up video where I will use the formula to confirm and predict real-world observations. 
Be sure to subscribe and click the bell notification so you know when future videos come out. Thank <laughs> you.